Hello everyone, I'm Bun Cognito, Bunny in Disguise, and welcome. I thought we'd start off playing Stardew Valley because it would be a great chance to kind of get to know who I am a little bit and get to know some stuff about me. Um, I know I'm a little late to the whole party because most people have already stopped playing the game by now on YouTube. But one of my favorite things that other YouTubers do is they... <clears throat> you really get to know them as people and then you kind of feel like you're hanging out with your friends type thing playing video games. And I kind of want to give you guys a chance to get to know me. So let's get started. Sounds about appropriate. Um, and I have a dog in real life, so. And since we're kind of going with a Sailor Moon type theme, we're gonna go with a cat because she has Luna. Uh, what do we want to name the farm? Hmm. Sounds legit. Sounds like a place that you would go to touch some bunny butts. They're floofs. So what do we want to look like? I don't really know. I, I've, I'm not really sure. We could be blue. We could be an alien. Or green. That would be fun. Or purple. really match in with that, the, the place, so let's just go with like skin color. already. I feel inspired. I have curly hair, but that is not what curly hair looks like in real life. That's more like a victory roll, 50s kind of hairstyle. favorite color. Which shade of purple though? Like maybe something along the lines of this. That looks nice. Then we'll go with clothes. This may take forever. Do we want to be like metal and rock star style? 
Is it really metal rocks or soil or is it more goth skulls? I'm not really sure. I kind of missed out on the categorization of all of those kind of labels because I went to an all-girls high school, so there's not much, um, there's not much in the way of defining yourself by the style of clothes you wear. When you all have uniforms, I mean, what are you going to compare? The length of your skirts? shirt just because of all the tragedies that have been going on lately and the tragedy that happened in Orlando. Just to kind of show support for mm -hmm. the LGBT mm -hmm. community. That was like 53. I just want to see what else there is. You cannot open it. Anything inside is not for you. It is all mine. No, no, don't open it yet. After all, you only get the envelope once. If you tear it all apart, it's not my fault. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And that day is today. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. But then you will remember that you have an envelope to open and all, then you only have this one empty envelope. And then you will feel the crushing despair all over again. <laughs> Gee, thanks grandma. Oh, corporate America. Uh, just what I am hoping to avoid. I am actually in college currently. 
I'm on summer vacation right now. But it's Woody from Toy Story, as everyone else has on the internet has pointed out. <laughs> Look at me just shaking in front of the screen going, No! I thought adulthood would be freeing! No! Why is it work? But, um, funny thing, I am a business major. <laughs> so the whole theme of this game of kind of corporate America versus the simple life kind of gets me right in the feels because I've learned way more about how businesses work than I ever hoped to and quite frankly I'm not entirely sure I actually want to work in my given field. My uh, field that I am learning specifically is human resources. So I've been preparing for the last ooh, five to six years for um, dealing with people's problems, the worst in people, and <clears throat> making sure that they're well taken care of in their job. But I don't really know if it's what I want to do. It's kind of... Ugh. I, I don't really want to go and work in corporate America because the more I've learned about how businesses actually function and some of the more underhanded methods that some businesses use, the less I want to actually work for them. And... I've always loved creative fields and such, and video games, and I never knew it was a thing that you could, I don't know, play video games for a living. Like, like everyone grows up with the idea of, I don't want to work for a living, I just want to play video games. But then YouTube became a thing, and I just started watching people on YouTube in the last like year and a half I want to say specifically like gaming on YouTube and a lot of them do really great things with it and it's really inspiring the way that they get such supportive communities and then they encourage and some people encourage them to um, do volunteer work to go out and be better people, to make the world a better place. And that is something that I've always wanted to try to do. But when you're one small person, you have a really hard time exploring that facet of your life because you think, well, I'm one person, what can I do? And sometimes it makes you feel really hopeless and it's very very depressing at times especially with some of the stuff that's been going on in the world lately which I'm not going to get into because I I don't want to I don't want to use other people's suffering as kind of like a soapbox for me to talk about all, all I can say is that the things that have happened in the United States lately are horrible and I am so sorry for all the people who have been affected by it, by everything that has happened and all the people who have had their suffering used to further other people's agendas politically or otherwise. I'm technically part of the LGBT community because I'm a bisexual woman, so... It's kind of complicated. I mean... <sighs> I, I, I live quite far away from Florida, so it doesn't affect me personally other than just making me cry every time I read it, about it in the news. Um... I don't really want to linger over this too long, so uh, I'll try to 
insert something here to make this slightly happier. Maybe like stock pictures of bunnies or puppies or something. Like maybe a picture of my dog or something like that. Who is a cutie. Just to kind of cheer things up a little bit. Well, let's keep going because I don't want to completely side tail it. Side tail our game. And now we're going to open the envelope. Oh no, I can't read it. Oh no, Grandpa said it. It's not for me. It's for some other person named Usagi. Dear Usagi, if you are reading this, then you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I don't know what accent I'm doing right now, by the way, or what kind of voice. That, that's just Grandpa. Grandpa does weird voices and doesn't know what he's saying. I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Bunny Butts Farm. It's where we go touch bunny butts and we show them to other people. Oh, ha, ha. I'm not really sure what kind of business Grandpa was in. I'm not sure it was farming. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. Don't read this, you little shit. This envelope is meant for someone else, not for you. Well, the envelope is meant for you, but this letter, someone else. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure will, Gramps. I mean, I'll go tell other Usagi to say hi to him. I I'm sorry if I, like, sniffle or cough or something, because I have a little bit of a sinus issues going on. Allergies are driving me nuts. Stardew Valley. Half a mile. Beep, 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 beep. It's a little bird. This video is going to be a little bit longer than most of my other videos in the future because uh, I had a lot to say <laughs> and there's been a lot going on so I don't know we'll figure we'll figure it out I'm still learning the whole YouTube thing and figuring out how long of videos I want to do and such hello Robin Hello, you must be Usagi. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you to the, the way to your new home. He's right out there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I'm a cutie patootie, oh my gosh. This is Bunny Butt's farm. I don't know why your grandpa named it that. I don't know anything about any kind of sketchy uh, things that he might have been doing here. And I've never heard the words Honey Cam Studios. No idea what that could possibly refer to. Oh my god, it's such a mess! <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. After all, your grandpa wasn't really farming anymore. By the time he passed away, he was, uh, well, don't mind all the filming equipment. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time, including the filming equipment and anything else your grandfather may have left around from his side business. And here we are, your new home. <coughs> ah, the new farmer. I just finished moving the last of your grandfather's things. Oh, I mean, looking at the last of his things. I mean, watching people on YouTube.
YouTube on the internet that does not exist in his house. And hiding certain things from, uh, well, his illicit business things. Also, this is my love shack, so I've been shacking up with certain ladies. Certain lady friends. We come out here and play spin the bottle. Oh, but you didn't want to know that. Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. I sound strange like your grandfather for some reason. I don't know why. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Boys' voices are hard to do. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. You might want to clean it thoroughly when you do. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Especially with this side of the ah, It's so funny. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Saki. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied. So you buy one of her house upgrades. Or you buy a whole new house. Because this one's kind of been violated in certain ways. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Bye! <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place in the box here. I'll come out during the night to collect it. And I won't peep in your windows like a creeper to see if you'll carry on your fa grandfather's tradition. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> Next morning. Well, we'll quick play through. We'll click play through uh, this. I don't like that setup. Weather report. Welcome to Cozy Five, the number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Ooh, I want to plant things then. you spirits. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forest. Earn some cash while waiting for on your first harvest. No, I never would have guessed that. Uh, we're not going to cut much of the grass because I want to save it. Harvest Moon in my time, and nobody's got time for friggin' running halfway around the farm at the beginning of the game. Ah. I'm messing up all over the place. It's been like a couple weeks since I've played Stardew Valley.
nice relaxing game. I have a lot of stress going on in my life, so we might be playing this for a little bit because I have all sorts of stuff going on in my life right now, like going back to school in the fall and um, just because I want to be able to get to I am getting married for one thing. Exciting. You'll probably hear about it in our in my my fiance, which should be going up around the same time as the first one of these, probably. Which will be called Honey Bunnies Play, the first episode of Honey Bunnies. I thought it would be kind of cute to silly. It's lagging suddenly. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Look around. See if there's anything to collect around here. Some flowers. I'm getting stuck on rocks. I need to insert like a bottom tissue right there. I feel like you can't see the look on my face because I am not interested in doing webcam yet. I decided to start doing YouTube because I suffer from social anxiety and I don't really know, I don't really want to go into my field of business for work. But at the same time, like, I don't want to just be at home, being lazy all day, doing nothing. On the other hand, so it's... On the other hand, I'm still playing video games all day anyway, so it's not really a huge change. But it's... We want to try to befriend Marnie if we can. Here, have a gift, Marnie. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna romance a girl, actually. Because Alex is not my type. Not even slightly. Hi. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm gonna forget all the voices that I did for everyone because there's too many characters. Leo and Penny. Hi. She's kind of soft spoken and quiet. Maybe we'll like romance Penny. I don't know. She likes kids. So I was kind of thinking of romancing Maru because she's kind of cool. down to the beach, see if there's anything there. Wormy worms. I'm assuming you guys are relatively familiar with Stardew Valley, but if you're not, these are just kind of to indicate that there's something hidden here. Hidden in the ground underneath. So. Oh, I Elliot's actually up. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Ah. We don't really need fiber at the moment, so I'm just gonna pick that up run over to the library donate the trilobite that we found
abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. I found a trilobite! Here! Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. I'm skipping through dialogue text too fast. Ah, hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts and rules that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send you away. Oh, he's kind of Elliot. Oh, the voices are going to be so hard to keep track of. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. <laughs> There's certain things in the series that I'm probably not going to do every day, even though I may look at them. I'm probably not going to voice all of them every day. Like, I forgot to voice Marnie when we were talking to her. And, um... Well. Stuff. I don't know. And certain things like the, uh, news I might not voice every day. Though they're kind of fun to do the pseudo, like, southern accent. The newscaster voice. I wonder if there's anything around here. Oh good, I didn't want her to notice me. Wild horse strategy. Beep beeps, come back birdies. Oh no, my inventory is full. There must be a spring onion. It, it's hard doing a lot of voice work. I'm not quite used to it yet. I mean, I've been having fun with it, but I'm not used to it. I've been kind of practicing since I first saw people play Undertale on uh, YouTube. Because it's a great opportunity to learn about um, different voices that you can make because they have such a wide range of personalities for the characters. Potatoes, potatoes. Boil and mash them, put them in stew. Them in stew. Yes, I am channeling Samwise. How did you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. I didn't really think about it, I just kind of plopped it down. I need to get a scarecrow too. And things. But mostly we are going to... Yeah, we're gonna sell these for now. Because we really need to stock up on things. For which we really need to take down trees. Because I can't really craft anything until we get enough wood. And let's see. Skills. Map is not what I wanted. Crafting. We want to build chests. So we need to get more wood. Uh, 
I'm being very careful to avoid the grass. I don't know if you guys notice or not. But I really don't want to hit the grass. We're gonna go get the coal. I wouldn't normally do that. We sit on a weed, but we've got lots of stuff to deal with. Um, I might cut out some of the grinding of the actual farming if you guys want me to. Just let me know in the comments down below what you think. so peaceful. I'm so relaxed, aren't you guys? Oh, so relaxed. My person's about to fall over dead asleep because running out of energy. Yes, let's do that to the door. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to see more, Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on uh, Funny Plays. Bye!